Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we're going to have a little fun with this one. Um, I'm hoping this is going to be a big money Bolo. It is a stretch. I know it's a stretch. When I bought it, it was just something to try. You guys know I like to sell weird things and I like to sell the unexpected and I'm very patient. So let's talk about it. I was over on Whatnot at Cat Feelin' Thrifty's show, her Whatnot show. It was a this and that show. Here is the video right here. Now, 10 months ago, 10 months ago is when I made this video. So yes, you're looking at me and you're saying, you bought this item 10 months ago and it hasn't sold? Yep, that's what I'm saying. I told you I'm very patient. And this item is so unexpected, so unexpected that I'm about to shock you with it. But I don't know. Should I be offended that somebody sent me this message or <laughs> I'm not offended, you guys. I don't care. Um, I, as a seller, do you guys get those messages where people are telling you how to run your business and telling you that your item is not going to sell and you have it priced too high and they can buy it here for this price? <laughs> well, that's what happened. And I, I'm going to share with you the details. Um, I'm not going to call out any names or anything like that. I'm just going to give you the gist of it. And I just want to know, do you think I have my item overpriced? <laughs> anyway, I got this item on Whatnot from Catfield and Thrifty. She had the most rad items. You got to go check out that video. I'll try to remember to link it down below for you. I paid a whopping $2 for this item. Two bucks. And I think I, I, think I stole it. <laughs> It is so fun. All right. So first off, if you guys are not on whatnot, you got to come over and hang out with us. We have such a good time. I was just talking to Cat Feeling Thrifty and she was mentioning that she may start doing more of this and that shows. So make sure you're following her and make sure you're following me. Um, if you're not on whatnot, there is a link down below where you can get $15 to shop if you use that to join. That is my referral link. And we would love to see you guys over there. So let's check out the item. I've made you wait long enough and let's just see what this person said about it. I don't even think they were going to buy my item. Oh, you'll see. Okay. So let's look at the item. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here it is. Here it is. You guys, it is pantyhose art. Okay. So the person proceeds to message me all condition issues and how did you figure out its value? Is there an appraisal and is it mint condition? Well, what I said was use the zoom because literally I have like 600 pictures. Oh, look at her eyes. Those beady blue eyes. <laughs> you guys, I'm serious. Somebody is going to want this. Do you agree with me? I think it's worth $93. I have it on sale for $93. Am I crazy? I'm not crazy, right? So anyway, I said I based my price on the fact that it is an artisan piece, handmade, probably nothing else like it. I mean, have you guys ever seen anything else like this? <laughs> I mean, come on. All right. And I said, you're welcome to make an offer. And then they proceeded to tell me that they were not interested in my item and that um, they have one that is bigger and nicer and nowhere near asking what, what I'm asking. She said they're not expensive to make and, the, um, and that she made them as a child out of leftovers. She said, good luck and you should keep it and enjoy it. Enjoy it for no one will buy it. So I am on a mission. <laughs> to prove her wrong. I am going to let it sit in my eBay store until I sell it. So I, I just got to know, guys. I just got to know. What do you think about my item? Do you think I can sell it for $93? Hey, I will entertain an offer. I really will. But where else are you going to find something so cool and so unique that is, I mean, you're going to look at it and you're just going to smile every single day. Isn't that worth $93 to look at something and smile every single day? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of love it. 
All right, guys. So in all seriousness, do these things sell? <laughs> Let's take a peek. All right. So I did find this collection right here, which I have to say is pretty incredible that somebody, I don't know what G bp is um is that uh let's see united kingdom that's what i was thinking 16666 which is approximately us 21797 look at these amazing dolls these are handcrafted and amazing and i got to tell you i'm feeling a little overpriced with my $93 for my picture frame art when i'm looking at these beauties but yes pantyhose nylon dolls Look at the face. Now that is art. I think each one of those should have been worth over $100 each. Those are absolutely incredible. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. We're going to have to cut that out. Oh, we're going to have to blur that image. Did you see that? Oh man, there was some detail there. Oh my goodness. These are amazing. Do you think they're creepy or do you think they're amazing? Okay. So this one sold. Um, this one also sold. Now I did not verify that these were paid for guys. I'm just kind of showing you now these are peekaboo stocking things and I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to click through the photos cause I'm guessing there's probably something naughty underneath. Okay. Um, but yeah, so 69 95 on that. If the buyer paid, these are stuffed pantyhose nylon stocking family. You got three of them for 30. So maybe I'm overpriced, but hey, I'm going to hold out. I'm going to hold out because I'm not in a hurry. It's just sitting in a tote. All right. We've got Mr. and Mrs. Claus. A little hard to see with the lighting on this one, but $23.89. But wait, let's look at what's currently listed. All right. So just if you don't know, Barbie doll uh, pantyhose are a bolo. Look at this. $109 for some Barbie pantyhose. So I am the highest priced on eBay right now. <laughs> These naughty peekaboo things, they must be a thing because look, here's another one. Here's another one. And then we got some more pantyhose for, I think, dolls. And then here's this guy, but these are folk art. They're custom made. They're just funny little characters. Can you sell them? Yes. Are they big money? More than likely, no. Um, but hey, a girl can try, right? So sometimes I like to just have a little fun and, you know, see what happens. So do you guys think, do you think it's going to sell? Let me know down in the comments. So anyway, if you're interested, it is available in my eBay store. You can make me an offer. If not, no worries. But I just want to know from you guys, how often do you guys receive messages from people telling you that your item is worthless <laughs> or they can get it somewhere else cheaper? You guys let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I hope to see you over on Whatnot for more laughs. Thanks for watching.